Hello everyone and welcome to A Slice of My Life. This video is all about the Mag Easy badge set that comprises of the badge holder, the retractable badge reel, the lanyard, the Mag Easy folder mini, and an extra card holder. And the mag board set that comprises of the mag board, the mag stand, the mag easy paper holder, and the mag tag. And last but not least, there are a couple of additional items, which is the Mag Easy Note Clip as well as the Mag Mirror. So guys, basically what this is, is a system of organizational accessories created by a company known as LIDS. And this right here, the Mag Easy Badge, as well as the Mag Bot Set, are both running on Kickstarter right now. Let's first focus on the Mag Easy Badge Set. So first things first, I'd like to thank LIDS for reaching out to me and sending these my way. This is an entire ecosystem, like really not just one item, guys. It's a full suite of items. Then they asked if I was interested to take a look at and review and I said, well, it looks interesting enough. Let's just give it a shot. So I've actually used this for a few days now. Full disclaimer for you guys, I believe that this Mag Easy badge set as well as the Mag Board set is actually targeted more towards office and I guess your office desktop organization. But due to tighter health and social distancing measures set here in Singapore, I have been working from home, but I have been using these items as much as I can just to get a feel for it and to experience it. And this has allowed me to gather some thoughts, some feedback that I will be sharing back to Lids because TLDR, my experience with these items are actually pretty good, but there are some areas of improvement that I'll be speaking about as we progress through this video. So let's break this thing down. So the first item I want to talk about is the badge holder that is connected to the lanyard via the retractable badge reel. And this retractable badge reel does exactly what you think it does. Yep, it's a retractable badge reel. Simple and straightforward. The next item here is a Mag Easy Folder Mini. And then last but not least is the extra card holder. And all of these actually feature magnets. So they can be stacked just like that and easily removed. Same goes for the Folder Mini. So this gives you some level of customizability or modularity that is one of the key features of this entire set of products. Now the badge holder is a bifold style holder. So this allows you to hold up to two cards in here, but generally what I would hold is a card as well as some cash, you know, some dollar bills in there. And then for this area here, you could use it for an ID card, but I like to put my travel card in there. Now, I don't want to show you my actual ID cards and my credit cards and all that kind of stuff, but uh, let's just use this card here, my boost card to simulate the travel card. So I'm going to put the travel card in here. So this travel card right there, every single time I take the train. Yeah, guys, I know that I work from home, but that does not mean that I don't go out. So all I do here is to slide this card up here via this open access, tap it on the scanner and make my way across the gantry. And in here, I generally have a credit card and that will be simulated via my Starbucks card. This is a brand new Starbucks card. <laughs> I've not used it, right? And uh, I want you to know that on the back of the Starbucks card is a Mac Stripe. So this is also to let you guys know that although there are magnets in here, this will not affect the mag stripe at all. And then this is held closed together simply with some magnets. Now on the back is another card slot that I will be using a COA card from Premium Spinners to simulate. And just for demonstration, you guys can actually squeeze more than one card in there. It is a little bit tight, but just so you know, this is possible. Now on the extra card holder, you could also put a card in there. This is another Starbucks card. And uh, I need to say that I actually don't really use this much. And last but not least, this is the Mag Easy Folder Mini and this goes on to your badge holder via magnets. And the reason why I like this thing, actually this is my favorite thing out of all, is because you can just flip this down like that and then it becomes a phone holder. Now I know I'm not gonna be able to show it to you in this angle because it'll just be sitting like that. But uh, yeah, I'll be getting some B-roll to show you guys how this thing works. You could actually have this holding a phone in either the portrait or a landscape mode, and that offers you a 60 degree viewing angle. And it's really cool because once you're done, all you gotta do is just lightly flip this and it'll just snap back in place. Let me show that to you guys again, cause that's really cool, right? Just do that and it'll just snap back. I love this thing. It's super small, super flat, super sleek and super portable. And this goes on right there like that. So let's talk about the materials being used across the board. And this also extends to when I talk about the MagBot set. So all of the items are actually made of a faux leather. This faux leather is crafted with vegan polyurethane leather. And then all of this also features reinforced stitching all the way around the important areas. So you know that the quality is right there. This thing is not going to wear out on you easily. On the flip side of some of the products though, for example, on the Folder Mini, it features a slightly rubberized texture. 
I don't know what material this is exactly. And personally, I'm really happy that this is slightly rubbery because it gives you that additional grip that you need so that this isn't going to slip around, especially with the fact that this is meant to hold your mobile phone. Now, since I mentioned that, once you flip it up and you have it deployed and ready to hold your phone, all of the contact area as well features that slightly rubbery texture that offers you a good grip and this will also not scuff up your device or the case that your device is in. The next thing I want to mention is that everything here is offered in two color variations. One is black which is what you see right now and the other color is a dark blue. I think the dark blue one also looks very very nice but I think in terms of versatility, black would work out very well. Not to knock the shade of blue though, it really looks very nice, but I personally prefer this black color because it's not a very, very deep black. Let me just bring in something like here. This is my Samsung Buds Live. This case is in full black. So hopefully this gives you a good idea between the difference of the colors or the shades of colors basically. So while this is marketed as black, it is more of a very, very dark gray, not a really deep full black. Now I have to say that these line of items are really straightforward. They do exactly what they're meant to do, what they're advertised to do. So yeah, just this as a badge holder, it's a simple flip open thing. And because this area here features magnets as well, you could have the extra card holder or ID holder sitting in there via magnets and then have everything close up like that in a very sleek package. Or you could just have this on the back like that or have it on the front. Now, the way I like to configure it is basically with this extra card holder in here and the folder mini on the front like that. This is a personal preference. I know some of you might have concerns based on the fact that all of these contain magnets. Now, personally, I don't keep a credit card or any card with a mag stripe in this slot. I use this slot specifically for my transportation card and that contains some silicone base chip technology thing that is beyond my understanding and my knowledge but I know that it would not be affected by magnets so I keep my transportation card here and then the reason why I have the folder mini on the outside is so that if any point of time I want to use my phone stand I could just have this right flat on the table and then flip this part up and this immediately becomes my mobile phone stand or it's easy for me to just remove and separate it from the badge holder. Now for this, there are two areas that lids could improve on. The first one is the closure. When you have the extra card holder in there, I think the thickness of this with the card in it affects the strength of magnetism. So yeah, you're not able to close it very well. Without it, it snaps closed with a nice satisfying click. So that is something for lids to take note of. So yeah, the extra card holder, you could choose to have it in here. You could choose to have it on the front or on the back. It's entirely up to you. Now the next area that lids could improve on is the strength of this spring here in the retractable badge reel. Now when this badge holder is empty, the retractable badge reel works completely fine. But once you start putting cards in there, it gets a little bit too heavy for this badge reel to reel in and retract smoothly. So you'll see that it easily gets affected. So that is something that definitely lids will be looking into. So that modularity is really cool. I love the fact that you could stack it in multiple ways and carry it whichever way you prefer. I really like the fact that there is this cutout here on the front panel of the badge holder because this really, this action here, this is super smooth. Absolutely no problem at all. And that's because the material here on the back is something that is really smooth. It seems like it's some sort of a fabric here. It's not the full leather material and it's not this rubberized thing as well. It's some fabric and this thing is just so smooth. That is, that is awesome. Now the next thing that I'm going to be talking about is the lanyard. Now this lanyard is well made. I'm going to say it right now, it's really well made. It's got a stitch right down the middle and it's made of the faux leather, which is a really, really durable material. And I don't think this is going to break or snap on you anytime. And it features a spring assisted carabiner clasp here that makes it easy to attach and detach from any key ring. But there is this little adjuster here and I don't know what's the correct way to use this adjuster. Say for example, if I want to make the lanyard shorter or slightly tighter around my neck, if I extend it from the bottom here to essentially make this area smaller, this is still going to hang low, as low as say for example, maybe even on my belly. But if I want this to be higher, then maybe I have to push this to the back. And by doing so, I'm actually reducing the area here. So this is the area that goes around my neck. But then I'll have this thing kind of sticking out the back of my neck, which looks a little bit strange, coupled with the fact that this lanyard is made in a flat, flat lace kind of way, right? So it doesn't really sit and flow down or hang down the back of your neck comfortably. So yeah, I, I don't know what's 
uh, the use of this. really I don't know I mean it's nice that it is here but I don't know if this execution is the best but at least you know right that it is there if you want to shorten the length of the lanyard so all these items that you see here now guys besides my cards of course and I'm talking about the lanyard the retractable badge reel this badge holder itself the bifold badge holder the mag easy folder mini that mobile phone or mobile device stand and the extra card holder all of these items are a part of the mag easy badge set so now I'm going to put this aside and let's talk about the mag board set now this set comprises of four items the first is the mag easy paper holder the next is the mag tag and uh yeah i'm i'm just gonna add a set of keys to the mag tag there we go then we have the mag stand as well as the mag board and the mag board is simple and straightforward guys it's basically an a4 sized magnetic board and the mag stand is to be used in conjunction with the mag board so you just attach it on here via magnets of course and then when you want to just lift up the bottom here and flip this out like that once this sticks here you've basically got a stand for your mag board and you could also have it in the landscape orientation just flip this around like that then lift up the mag stand now you've got the stand with the mag board in the landscape orientation and when you're done just flip this down and you're good to go simple and straightforward let's talk about the mag easy paper holder with this you can essentially turn the mag board with the mag stand into a clipboard just like that so let's use this piece of A5 paper as an example. Just flip up the Mag Easy paper holder, put your piece of paper there, let it close, and then now you have a clipboard. Simple and straightforward. And this is the Mag tag with my keys on it. And it goes onto the Mag board right there. And just so you guys know, everything here is being held on very comfortably and comes off with a simple tug. So this guys, the cool thing about this is while you can use it as a clipboard, you can instead use it as an organizer for say for example your desk or your office or anywhere at home this is really really cool now i'm going to put it in the landscape orientation and say for example i want to leave a note whether it's a note to myself or a note to someone else i'll just use this mag easy paper holder and i'll just put it right there that's your note right there when i'm home with my keys i'll just have to put my keys on this board i could even get my mag easy badge set with the extra card holder and the folder mini and then attach a badge holder right here and have my lanyard hanging off the back of it this is so cool guys it's just right there and anytime i need anything i can just grab it and go it's really that simple and yeah i just love that i could just throw my keys right there this is this is so cool guys i really love this i just absolutely love this and uh it's just like like i said right at the start of the video this is like an ecosystem of products based around the clever usage of magnets for your everyday purpose. Now, I didn't actually speak much about the Mag Easy note clip. Now, the intended purpose of this is to have some notes here so that you could hold it in place. But I flipped it on its head and I decided to try to use this as a money clip of sorts. And it worked out pretty darn well. Now, I got a couple of Singaporean dollar bills here and all I gotta do is just fold it in half. Yeah, guys, I'm not that rich this time. I only have $7 to my name. But yeah, just fold it in half and then just clip it on like that. And this works, guys. This actually works pretty well. See, I actually have to use some effort to actually pull the notes out. Now, I could also have it this way if you want to, but you know, I don't really carry my notes this way. I could even have the orientation this way instead. And it works, guys, it works. So for those of you who are fans of money clips, you could consider using this as part of a minimalist wallet setup. Let me just shift this out of the way a little bit. Now, let me show you what I mean. So first of all, I'm going to remove this extra card holder. Then I'll grab the note clip and I'll put it right here. And the reason why I'm doing this is because this is going to be a bit too thick for the badge holder to close but in this orientation the badge holder is going to close very comfortably now if you don't want it to be extended high up you could have it the other way instead it's completely up to you and this actually looks quite sleek so if say for example you actually have two cards in this slot and you don't have any more space to hold your dollar bills or your notes you could have it in here so here we have our notes just fold it in half latch that down and close it and we are good to go I mean, yeah, it's going to expose a little bit of the notes here, but you get what I mean. It's just the customizability of everything that makes this really, really cool. You could have it any way you want, really, just any way you want. But my most comfortable way is having it this way with one card in this slot here so that I could have some notes in there and then carry with this phone holder. I swear, I swear, really, this Mag Easy Folder Mini is the best thing. Like, I really love this. Look at that. That's so cool. I just got to... <laughs> I love this and it's yeah well the fidget factor guys you know that now you notice that i didn't really speak much about the mag mirror that's because this is actually quite straightforward you could have the mag mirror inside your badge holder just like that 
it's really all about how you want to rock this thing, how you want to customize it, how you want to carry your stuff. That modularity is awesome. So I know it's kind of weird to look at the reflection here, so I'm just going to flip this over. Now basically guys, at this point, I've covered everything that I wanted to say about the Mag Easy Batch set as well as the Mag Board set. I want to let you guys know that I did raise a concern. I specifically raised a concern about Mag Stripes on credit cards and whether or not any of these magnets here will affect or damage the mag stripes. And so I got a response from Frida of Lids. So shout outs to you Frida. Frida is the person that has been liasing with me. Thank you Frida, I really appreciate it. And so Frida responded, credit cards require a very strong magnetic strength to demagnetize them, typically at least 4,000 Gauss. I think that's how you pronounce it, Gauss. But it is not the strength of the magnet, it is the duration or exposure to the magnet. In order for a magnet to scramble a magnetic stripe, it's pretty much going to have to come in direct contact with it. However, that never happens in the card holder since the magnets are actually covered by a layer of leather and or fabric. So the magnets in the card holder are sewn in and invisible with a layer of leather in between and designed not to come in contact with any of your cards. So to explain to you guys, the magnets are located in each corner of each side and they are sewn in and so you guys can be rest assured this will not come into direct contact with any card whatsoever. If I put the card here, you'll see. So the magnets are located in the four corners which is away from the mag stripe on a card. You can be rest assured. And yeah guys, I actually tried this Starbucks card. This is the card that I actually used. This is a brand new card guys, come on. Do you think I would really want to subject my brand new card to being damaged? <laughs> so yeah, just, just so you guys know, it actually works and it's completely fine, it's completely safe. So last but not least guys, let's talk about the pricing of these items. Let me just reorganize this so that we know which are the additional items or the extra items. So guys, items in the top left corner are part of the Mag Easy Batch set. Items on the right are part of the Mag Board set. See, I'm so used to having the Mag Tag here on my keys that I forgot that it's part of the set. And in the bottom left corner, right here, these two items, these are the additional items that Frida and Lids sent over to me. Now, everything is going to be on Kickstarter except for these two items. So if you're interested, of course, links will be in the description box down below. Take note that is a kick booster link. That is basically my affiliate link because Lids and Frida were nice enough to make me an affiliate. So Full disclaimer, I do enjoy a little bit of kickback if you back the campaign up by using my affiliate link. So the Mag Easy Batch set is being offered at 29 US dollars. Now we're talking about all of these items here, including the lanyard, including the badge reel, this badge holder, the extra card holder, as well as the folder. The Mag Board set is going at 33 US dollars, and this comprises of exactly these four items the Mag Board itself, the Mag Stand, the Mag Easy Paper Holder, as well as the Mag Tag. Now, if you're interested in the extra items, please head on over to the Lids website. You'll find the entire plethora of items in the catalog. You could get extras or multiples of the Mag Tag, and then just attach one of these to every single key fob that you own. It's, it's cool. I mean, you guys saw. That actually works. And by the way, in case you guys wanted to know, this is a DIY key organizer and I've got two keys here as well as this additional attachment to hold the split ring. This isn't the lightest thing ever and the fact that it goes on really well here and it doesn't drop. Oh, what the heck? Look at that, guys. It's even... Okay, so yeah, that's a bonus. And if you want to get a bundle of a Mag Easy Badge set as well as a Mag Board set, excluding these two, that is being offered at 59 US dollars for the Super Early Bird bundle. Now there will be various pricings available because there's going to be Super Early Bird deals, Early Bird deals and etc. So for the latest updated information on pricing especially, please check out the Kickstarter campaign. The campaign will be live by the time you guys are watching this video and will be running all the way till the 1st of September 2021. So if you're interested in any of these items guys, make sure you check them out. Once again, I will say links in the description box down below. Now going back to the intended target audience for these products, even though I'm working from home now, this board, this, this board is, it's cool. It's so convenient to have and it's so modular. My goodness, I really love this. I like what Lids is doing here with the entire ecosystem and they're calling this whole thing the Mag Easy hybrid workstation. I think it works really well. It's so convenient to have, especially with this. I love how every single time I got home and I just threw my keys on there, that is always so satisfying. And basically, that is it, everyone. Thank you so much for sticking all the way throughout and sharing in this slice of my life. If you like this video, I hope that you will give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hello and welcome. And if you're not subscribed, I hope that you will consider subscribing. But if I did not earn your sub today, that is okay. I will continue working on my content, I promise. And hopefully, one day, I will earn that sub. 
Another great way to support the channel is over on Patreon. I'll put a link up here to that in case you want to check it out. We have Patreon exclusive content as well as Patreon exclusive giveaways from time to time. So if you do become a patron of mine, thank you so much in advance. It means a lot to me. Once again, a huge thank you to Lids and of course, by extension, a huge thank you to Frida for sending all of these my way. I think these products are really cool. Something for you guys to consider. I think they're pretty good value for money for what they are. It might not appeal to everyone, but if you find a use for this, I'm going to say that you're going to enjoy this quite a lot. And that is it. Once again, this is the Mag Easy Hybrid Workstation comprising of the Mag Easy Badge Set. I don't know why I pointed here. The Mag Easy Badge Set as well as the Mag Board Set. And I will catch all of you in the next slice. Bye.